All right, folks. Uh, just going to take a few minutes to talk about uh, a new purchase that I had made. And uh, you can see it's for the Through Night uh, flashlight. This one is the uh, TN12 2014, which is the new version of this particular light. It's a little bit bigger than the old TN12. Uh, I believe it has a new Cree bulb or Cree emitter, LED emitter. And um, the form factor is a little bit different. So anyhow, I got this a few days ago, and uh, I have been using it and carrying it around, and I put it in this box to pretend like I'm unboxing it now on video. Um, so I took it out. Initially, just right off the bat, there's a couple of things that you can see with this light. Uh, one of them is, is this pocket clip is silver, and the flashlight is black. And I've seen a couple of reviews where Through Night has gotten some heat over that, and folks are like, why isn't that uh, pocket clip black? I don't really think it's a big deal. Um, I have some other flashlights. For example, this is a uh, Phoenix P30, and uh, <laughs> it looks like it's almost the exact same pocket clip. Um, the reason I bought this light is it had gotten some really, really good reviews on uh, Candle Power Forms and uh, on YouTube and stuff as well for being, uh, you know, very bright and true to what its claims are. You know, you can get the flashlight. I think that this. Uh, this one here, for example, claimed to be 1,500 or 16, 1,800 lumens, and it is a XMLT6 uh, emitter, and that is only capable of producing 1,000 lumens under optimal conditions. So anyhow, some flashlight manufacturers uh, overstate their capabilities, and uh, this one is rated as uh, being pretty, pretty good and pretty true. Um, the gist of it is is that on its high or turbo setting, it can get to uh, 1,050 lumens, which is pretty bright. And uh, I dropped a battery in here. It takes 18650s, or if you have a sleeve, you can go ahead and you can put two of these CR uh, 123s in there. Um, but this thing is bright. I mean, it's real bright. And uh, I was very happy with it. The other thing is is that it's a what I would consider a value-priced um, flashlight. For the capability that you get in the form factor and the construction, uh, this flashlight runs about 45 bucks, and uh, that's a heck of a deal. Um, the other thing uh, I got, because supposedly it would uh, stand on the tail, and I've had a little bit of trouble with it. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Um, here it is on this low setting. It has, a, it has five settings, like a moon glow, low, medium, high, and I guess turbo. And uh, you can get to strobe just by holding this button in once it's on. And uh, I'll probably just white it out in my camera. But anyhow, it's uh, it seems like a pretty decent flashlight. Just some general impressions. One of the things uh, I didn't like about it is is that the bezel is not crenulated. And, um, you know, I don't know why. But I like a little bit of crenulation on my bezel. And I like to refer to them as, uh, as like a DNA collector. Um, I have a bunch of flashlights. These are been my primary carry over the last couple of years, uh, Phoenix LD20, and then uh, I went to a PD30, and then I went to the LD12 um, as primary carries. Uh, this this flashlight is a little bigger. It's a little. Uh, it's not as long as LD20. It's a little bigger around, but uh, you know it fits comfortably in my right front pocket. I use this pocket clip, and uh, I carry it around and have no problems with it. Um, another thing I noticed is that this uh, knurling is not as textured as the knurling on these Phoenix or um, or my Olight flashlight or, or some other flashlights that I have. But again, given the price point, um, you know, I think this this LD20 was $80. And um, given the price point on this one at uh, at $45, it, you know, it's, maybe it's a machining decision or something like that. But uh, I like this flashlight and um, the you know turns on via the tail cap. And then you can you can adjust your setting up front with this button. Uh, Phoenix went to that design a few years ago, and this uh, LD12 has the button up front as well. Anyhow, enough about that. I want to talk about what else comes in the box. So you get uh, a user manual that I have not <laughs> that I have not taken a look at yet. Um, it tells a little bit about the battery, the different modes, and how you change through them. Uh, gives you some warnings, some facts, and tells you, you know, you can use two CR one one two threes with a sleeve. Uh, it came with this this sheath. Let's see if it fits in there with the 
with a pocket clip on. And that's actually uh, a pretty decent sheath. So maybe you can hook this uh, somehow to Somali or you can cl clip it with a carabiner or something like that. Comes with a lanyard and some spare O-rings, which is which is great. This is this is nice. Love to get stuff like that. So anyhow, just uh, some initial impressions on the on the flashlight. I like it. I'm a fan of it. I'm going to carry it around, and uh, hopefully I can get a review out with some screenshot or not screenshots with some um, some beam shots for you guys. Anyhow, that's it. Thanks.